the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Man, I don't know what this fat idiot is watching right now, but it is some good there shit. There she goes. <laughs> there she goes. Oh! Oh my God! A tumor in her stomach, and it disappeared. I don't feel it! I don't feel it! <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Divine surgery, uh. on her. divine surgery. Okay, that's divine strength. I've uh yeah. I've I've had just about enough. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Leon Lush. Welcome back to another video, and look what my chair can do. But honestly, I am simply stuffed with pleasure that you would decide to spend a few minutes here with me today before moving on onto something much more productive. But I promise you that we have found today, of all days, an absolute motherfucking gold mine. Oh boy, this is some, this is some top quality A plus shit. You know what I'm saying? This is that fucking, Oh, give me that cringe. Give me that fucking scam artist bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Give me that. You just let it enter Peter Popoff, a 68 year old German born American televangelist that has spent his entire adult life preying upon and exploiting the sick, the weak, the indigent, and the mentally unstable for his own financial benefit. He has taken a lifetime of collectively scamming people out of millions of dollars and he's wrapped that up in a beautiful little box, put a bow on there, and called it faith healing. Now, get ready for God to touch you with his miracle working power. Can we just stop and appreciate for a second the fact that Peter Popoff, the faith healer and Keemstar, Use the exact same intro music. I did not edit that in. I'm just saying. That, that, that is fucking tremendous. God is touching hurting people. Around the world. And now he wants to touch you. With his miracle working power. Amen. You may think that your circumstances are, your situation is dead. But I'll tell you, God is going to bring life to that dead situation. But I tell you, God is going to bring life. To that dead situation, you are gonna see miracles. All the discomfort, all the pain, in the mighty name of Jesus, God's gonna bring your blood sugar down super natural. Now you may be sitting there at home or at school, you know, on your phone or your computer, watching this and thinking to yourself, man, there is there is no way this can be as bad as it seems. Leon, tell me that there's there's no way that this can be as bad as it as it seems. And <laughs> I'm here, I'm here to tell you that uh, it is. It's as, it, it's as bad as it seems. I command divine strength to flow oh. into her body. Oh, get out the chair, baby. In Jesus' name, stand up. Get up the now chair, stand up. In Jesus' walk. name. You're not going to walk. Are you not going to walk? You ain't walking. No, you are not. You are not walking. You're running with the chair. She's running with the wheelchair. Now, listen, I could spend the better part of an hour talking about this clown, Peter Popoff, but for the sake of brevity, I want to just touch on a little bit of the history of Peter, who he is, and just kind of hit on a few bullet points. Now, in the 1980s, Peter Popoff rose to prominence uh, performing miraculous cures of his audience members on nationally televised programs claiming he was getting divine revelation. Now this went on for years and Popoff built a reputation for himself as this sort of miracle healer. For years and years as he was preying on these sick and helpless people, offering them the promise of divine healing of sorts in exchange for, you guessed it, money. Now fast forward to 1986 and two investigative journalists by the name of James Randi and Alexander Jason, who I'm sure at the time weren't the only two people that <laughs> smelled a little bit of bullshit, right? Well, they did a little bit of a sting operation on our guy Popoff and uh, found out definitively that he was a complete fraud and that his wife, Elizabeth, was using a wireless radio transmitter to, broad, uh, to broadcast info she had called from prayer request cards filled out by the audience members. Now, according to Wikipedia, in addition to tapping this wireless transmission between Popoff and his wife, 
Randy also planted accomplices in the audience, including a woman who Popoff cured of uterine cancer. One of the recordings demonstrated Elizabeth describing one of the women in the audience as that big N-word in the back and warned him, keep your hands off those tits, I'm watching you. They were also recording laughing uncontrollably at the physical appearance of a man suffering from advanced testicular cancer. I mean, just the lowest of the fucking low kind of scumbag. So not only were Peter and his wife scamming these people out of hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, they were hurling around racial slurs and laughing behind the backs of these people with terrible diseases. So there's a shitload more to the story, but essentially in that same year, these two guys that compiled all this evidence against Popov, uh, you know, they made a video out of it, and uh, that video aired on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, and finally after admitting that he sometimes used a wireless communication and that everybody knew about it, Peter Popoff declared bankruptcy in 1987, listing more than 790 unpaid creditors. Good riddance, you piece of fucking human garbage! No legal ramifications, no consequences. Popoff and his wife just get to live scot-free off the millions of dollars they scammed off of the helpless and the poor. And you'd think that's the end of the story. That's it, right? These guys just kind of fell off the map, never to be heard from again. Happy to get away with what they had done without having to face the music or suffer any sort of consequence. That's it, right? Nope. Call the toll-free number and receive the Miracle Spring Water and the Anointed Faith Tools. This powerful point of contact will not only get you started on debt-free living, but it will also show you how to receive everything that God has for you. When you receive the Miracle Spring Water and the Anointed Faith Tools in the mail, follow the instructions just like these people did. 6.5 million settlement. 23,000. Two weeks later, I had $100,000 in my hand. $25,000. 15 to $20,000. Just a decade later, and my motherfucker Pete is back with a vengeance with his Miracle Spring Water that can now not only cure your disease and your ailments, but it can also erase your debts and get you checks in the mail. God's going to give you strength. Let it flow. Let it flow into his legs. Now walk in the name of Jesus. Walk and look at there he goes. There he goes. I put that here. Oh my God. <laughs> God's going to give you strength. 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 God's going to give you strength. Oh, Let it God. flow into his legs. Now walk in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now around this time in 1998, the Washington Post reported that Popoff was making a comeback seeking to jumpstart his ministry by repackaging himself for an African-American audience buying time on the Black Entertainment Television Network. <laughs> Bro. Bro, Popoff. Bro. You are making... You are making white people look real bad, Papa. You know, fucking take your foot off the gas, you fucking scoundrel, scumbag, piece of dog shit. Is from Brazil. She speaks Portuguese, and she's been with our ministry for two years. Yes. And she said that she's been praying with you, and God did a miracle. And how much did he send to you? God gave him a consolation, that consolation, $50,000. $50,000. Drink! You got $50,000 from God? <laughs> did he write you a check? Did he did he PayPal that shit? Did he Venmo you? I mean, geez, I'm trying to get 50 lied from the big guy. If you could give me a little... Drink! You can give me a little insight into what I'm doing wrong here. I'd appreciate it. The Lord has blessed me with this good job, and I haven't had this all along. I've been fighting this battle, and the Lord has given it to me, saying you will have it be the head and not the tail. Did you use my miracle? I used your miracle. I read your letters. You see? It's right here. Right here. You know what? I got the best job. Oh, hallelujah. With all benefits, we give God the glory for that. <laughs> Hold the fuck on. I got the best job. What is the deal here? I mean, this Brazilian bitch is over here getting $50,000 checks from the Lord Jesus Christ, and all she gets is a new job as a data entry specialist with mediocre benefits at best? That is an unjust God. Drink! $750,000 worth of debt canceled. Amen. Supernatural debt cancellation. Supernatural debt cancellation. Amen. Drink! You're probably finding this whole thing very hard to believe. How is it possible that there are this amount of people that are this naive? And how has this been going on for so long? How did someone 
exposed as a scammer, as a fraud. Just kind of like hang out on the wayside for a couple years and then started making this huge comeback. This was in 1998. This motherfucker is still going today. These infomercials for Miracle Spring Water are still playing on American, New Zealand, and Australian television. In fact, the reason I found this motherfucker is because I saw his late night infomercial on television a couple months ago. And I was like, oh man, I gotta make a video on this bitch. I gotta make a video on this bitch. And it took me a while because I'm lazy and I put things off, but here we are. You remember in Philadelphia, was it Philadelphia where the woman got two point something million dollars? That's right, two point two million dollars. It's awesome. And so many people delivered from drugs. That's true. Now the way it works is these people give the pop-off ministry their address so they can get this miracle spring water and then they get these beautiful prayer cards and these instructions to sleep with the water like under their pillow or some bullshit for a night and then drink the water the next day and then you have to send the empty water package back with a $19 donation and all of your debts are canceled and Jesus comes and heals your testicular cancer. <laughs> I fucking... Uh... But Peter Popoff doesn't stop there. After the initial order of water, you continue to get relentless correspondence from this ministry with these long, verbose prayer letters that are written in order to manipulate these people into thinking they're going to get healing in, in, in divine intervention, divine miracles. If you would only donate X amount of money to my ministry, $25, $30, because what you give, you will get back tenfold, my friend. And I see money being released. I see money being released. And it's going to come suddenly to you. Now you say, I don't believe it, all right? You're not going to get it. But I feel $7,000 coming in the next seven days. You feel money just waiting to be released? Released? Who's releasing the money, Pete? Where is it coming from? You don't just drink tap water and have $15,000 show up in your bank account. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, uh, I, got, I can't. I can't do it. And this just goes on and on for years and years into the 2000s, into the 2000 teens, to the current day, Popoff is still making money. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, well, you know, how much money can you make? There can't, this is just a handful of people that are this fucking gullible to be suckered by this fucking con man. I mean, how much money is he really making? Let's run the numbers real quick. In the 1980s, when he first rose to prominence before being exposed by those two guys on late night television, he was collecting close to $4 million a year. Fast forward to 2003, a couple years after the beginning of his resurgence in the late 90s, his ministry received over $9.6 million. Two years later in 2005, $23 million. That is a lot of motherfuckers being scammed. God damn, Pete. Take the foot off the gas, Pete. Give these kids drink. Now this is where it gets even better because for decades, Popoff's organization had been functioning as a nonprofit that has to disclose earnings and pay taxes. But in 2006, he was able to merge with a small church in Farmers Branch, Texas called Word for the World, which operated out of a storefront. By being classified as a church, the operation no longer had to report annual income or salary to the IRS. When a reporter from GQ attempted to visit this church on a Sunday morning in late 2016, he found a deserted parking lot in an industrial park with no church sign visible on the outside. So not only is he scamming thousands of people on their last hope out of millions Millions of dollars, he's now able to hide how much he's scamming these people from the government, and he's completely tax exempt. You've got to call right now. Pick up the telephone, call us, use the miracle spring water, I'll send it to you. I'll tell you how to use it to see many miracles in your life, and I'll also send you the amazing faith tool to help you see your debts erased. Kindly fuck off, you bag full of microwaved cat shit. Everybody in the meeting who has a miracle has used the miracle spring water. Oh, and that goes for you too, Liz. You dumb bitch, shut the fuck up. Ready. She said when I laid hands on her, she saw a light come all over her. And it goes on and on, and the world continues to turn as Popoff and his wife live happily in California in a four and a half million dollar mansion, driving around $300,000 cars off money they scammed out of helpless people that gave up their last dollar in hopes of some sort of divine debt cancellation or divine healing. 
it is just a fairy tale ending. How the fuck is this allowed to go on? How is he allowed to have this ministry make millions of dollars? Because I guess he's using this religious organization as a scapegoat. He can't be touched. He doesn't even have to pay fucking taxes because of religion or some shit. I don't fucking know. Name any other situation. Take religion out of it where someone could do something like this and not get in trouble for it. Any other situation where you can blatantly scam people, be exposed for it, be exposed to be a complete fraud, extorting people for their hard-earned dollars in the hopes of getting something in return that you know they're not going to get. I mean, shit, this guy's ministry is like the WWE of religious ministries. Except somehow, inexplicably, the audience doesn't know it's fake. <sighs> I'm going to reel it in. I'm going to reel it in before I go full cyan tomato and my head pops off from prolonged elevated blood pressure. I mean, I don't even know. Yikes. What the, what the hell? I cannot avoid. I mean, I'm doing a video with religious undertones and yet I, I can't avoid these flying dildos. It's insane. Nigel, you have, you have no chill, do you, you piece of dog shit? Damn, <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope... You know, you got a laugh out of it. I tried to make it entertaining, but I, really I just wanted to vent a little bit and bring awareness to how big of a piece of shit this guy is. And obviously nothing's going to come from this video. And I have to imagine that nobody watching me right now could ever possibly be gullible or naive enough to fall for something this bullshit. But I honestly, I feel a general sadness and like an empathy for these people that he's taking advantage of. I mean, these are some people that are just have a lot of shit on their plate, man, you know, whether it's disease, chronic illness, financial hardships, and he is just sinking his teeth in and bleeding them dry for every last bit of cash that they have, and somehow he can sleep at night. I don't fucking get it. But uh, if I'm being honest, I would like 15 minutes in a fucking locked cafeteria with Peter Popoff and my crowbar. And I'll show his fucking kneecaps a thing or two about divine fucking miracles, you piece of oh, shit. You fucking, fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Oh. How do you like that miracle, Pete? How about that one? Why don't you donate $19 to my foundation and I'll find a divine way to put your fucking legs back together, you piece of dog shit. Yeah, anyways, if you could just do me a small, just a tiny little favor and start a religious ministry of your own and scam people out of their hard-earned money for 30 plus years and somehow avoid paying taxes on it, make millions and millions of dollars off of the loss of others and when you finally retire filthy rich and you're somehow still able to sleep at night i want you to go down to your basement where your gaming setup is sit down in the computer chair preferably a dx racer like the one you see right here and uh, slowly slip off your trousers fire up fortnite if it's still relevant at this point uh, get the stream going and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me i would greatly appreciate it listen you guys have been great. Fuck Peter Popoff. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces. I need some motherfucking views.